new dormitory in UIC New Campus. The designs embrace students as UIC decides for relocation. Parcel delivery. Extra charge of 2 yuan for each parcel at UIC New Campus. Who can room them in? Homecoming day. Graduates come back to UIC from around the world, reviving the good old time. No bike in town. The new lifestyle wins over people's hearts. Human story. Is talent loose affecting Hong Kong media industry? Benny C, a former journalist, has his say. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to UIC News at 5 p.m. I'm Annie. I'm Ataria. For the next 10 minutes or so, we'll focus on UIC campus news. Top story today. It has been made official that all students who move to live in the new campus in the fall semester. However, the sample room is a bit of disappointment. Leaked photos show huge differences between the interior of the room and the original plan. Our reporter Patricia John has more details about the controversy. The sample room's pictures of new campus dormitory reported by Zhen Zhubao Rose's arguments. 七巧正本来的设计就是二人间的面积 the cold room in the old campus is 40 square meters bigger than that in the new campus. All the students in UIC new campus live in double room, but construction team is still build the triple room and the cold rooms. The different types of rooms has huge differences inside. the new dormitory building has already been completed. However, to the Jinju Bao News, UIC officially responds it is incomprehensive. To the student's point of view, whether it is true or not, it can only be figured out after students moving to the new campus. UIC News, Patricia. Several express agencies at UIC New Campus charge students an additional tuition for each of their parcels, which are against the rules of the express companies. Patricia Chan has a story. Customers should receive their packages without being charged for any extra fee. However, students at UIC burst into anger because of being asked to pay two yuan and even be blamed if they did not pay it. 之前是一直收费的，每次就拿两块，然后还是觉得有点吧，因为每次你去拿两块日积月累的话，现在费用肯定不少。After complaints on the International Day for Customers' Rights and Interests, UIC officially put out a mandatory order about extra fee issue. Now behind me is UIC New Campus Delivery Center, and it's one of the points that charge students 2 to 5 yuan for the extra fee. But since Wednesday, it's no longer charged. However, we still heard some voices about the agent stores outside the campus, so we went there directly for further investigation. <laughs> Okay. 
We also went to the express agent stores in Beijing Normal Zhu High University. All the express companies have stated that any agent stores cannot charge any extra fee from customers. Police officers come and check the logistic operation and bill of each experienced agent stores there regularly. UIC Integrated Service Office announced that they had already cancelled the cooperation with these stores. This kind of problem will not happen in the future. Patricia reporting for UIC News. Each year, UIC graduates return to the campus in April for the reunion with alumni and their teachers. The tradition is known as Homecoming Day. A whole series of activities have been held this year to celebrate the last Homecoming Day at the old campus. Reporter at Guo talked to some of the alumni for their joy and nostalgia. An alumnus come back UIC on the Homecoming Day to propose of marriage to his girlfriend. This is a little surprise on the Homecoming Day and the U.S. provide many activities to welcome them back. This is Before starting, alumni sign their name and pick up gifts. One of the activities is alumni's wedding party. Eight couples are waiting for the beginning. The USC Homecoming Day is holding at Old Campus today. You can see behind me the alumni's wedding party is in the progress. The next part is stage performance and basketball match. Let's have expectations. Some alumnus told us their biggest harvest in UIC. <laughs> the wedding party ends up with happiness, and UIC provides respective dinner, which gave alumnus the feeling of home. Another activity is basketball match between alumni and USA basketball team. The homecoming day has been successfully completed. Alumni enjoy fun and happiness during the homecoming day. Adeline from USA News. Now, let's take a look at some other news making headlines from across UIC. Shining spotlights, a passion of the music, the Dancing King Party Night was held on May. It gathers team from Juha including Top Z, Brenda X, and Brand New Crew. To team from Macau, which is called Nows, but behind a great performance, the hard efforts need to make. Hip-hop, jazz, popping and cheerleading, the Dancing Kings and Dancing Queens push the party to the climax again and again. The Second Nation Budo General Convergency is held. It is organized by seven related clubs such as Taekwondo Club, Tai Chi Club, Kendo Club, and Aikido Club. This whole activity contains three parts, the exhibition, flash mob, and performance. The highlight is students can experience any events they want to have and wear their special uniforms. Up next, no bike in town. A new lifestyle wins over people's hearts. Human story. Is talent loose affecting Hong Kong media industry? Then you see, a former journalist has his say. From the original idea, to the last into a group of people's dreams, we like a painter as a dream look like. Point into a line, lie into a surface. In the library, in the classroom, in everywhere, we have WFC's competitions. Make a cup of coffee, in the candle of life, in the dream, in the memory of UIC.
artist of this moment, Mozen Coffee. Welcome back. Mobike is now available in Zhuhai. Since its appearance in Zhuhai a few months ago, Mobike has become one of the most favorite transport means for local people. But the management of the Mobikes for local people has some troubles. Brittany Hill has more on people's reflections. Mobike has become the top of the town when it first appeared in Zhuhai. With the convenience in using it, mobile quickly wins people's heart. Some Zhuhai citizens express their ideas about the mobile. Mobile has its users of all ages, mostly the young. Nowadays, mobiles are more and more widely used in Zhuhai, but there is still some improper behavior when using it. 好是挺好的,但有些人他要看他自己自觉吧,就是看他停的位置不要妨碍到别人就好了。Some users park the bike disorderly, which breaks the rules of bicycle management and regulation. 本来这个摩拜单车就是公用的嘛,然后应该要有一点社会责任心,就是顾了自己利益而不照顾他人的利益,我觉得这样是不对的。停在路边就没人看管的地方的话,会给别人偷。Although it has caused some problems, the goal of Mobike is to make our life more enjoyable. Brittany from UIC News. Greenfinger is an organic farm in Zhuhai, based on the concept of community support agriculture, from vegetables to livestock. Local farmers cultivate their produce here in a mutually beneficial scheme. Reporter Echo Run talks to the farm owner and finds out how the scheme works. Following people's awareness to the healthy lifestyle, organic products start to be introduced generally. This is one of the best selling produces in here. It takes several months of hard work for its creation. But why is qualified as organic? We have an important influence that reduces organic products' popularity is the price. Greenfinger introduced a channel that allows consumers directly purchasing products through the farm. Consumers can enjoy the farming process while purchasing those products. On the other hand, this decreases the selling cost by skipping retail sellers and lowers the price for consumers. People's demand to the organic products leads to organic products start to own a stable market shares. Also, people will allow to purchase the product in the supermarket. Farms' farming engagement activities attract a lot of visitors. <laughs> Another reason that hinder developing of organic farm is that Zhou子龙 said, although the way of organic farm development is still very hard, he believes Greenfinger's future is bright. Reported by Echo, UIC News. Benny C, a former Hong Kong journalist, now works with his friends in a PR company. His current job is still related to the news, but he finds his work less flexible and creative than before. And he's worried about the decline of Hong Kong's media. Brittany Ho has more. 
Benny C worked as a journalist in Hong Kong for 20 years. Three years ago, he quit his job because of the decline of Hong Kong news industry. Now, he is no longer a journalist, but his job is still related to the news. Current days, Benny is doing the post-production for crowdfunding. Now, I'm standing on the record production studio. You can see Benny and his colleagues are doing the productions for the online news. One of his colleagues is also working for crowdfunding, and he has known Benny for almost 20 years. Gamecube also, the freedom and independence of Hong Kong news industry has fell down mass him change the job. Besides his work, Benny also teaches broadcast journalism in UIC and he often discusses with his students what a real journalist should be. Benny Benny also gives expectation to the students. 我觉得做记者最重要是有一个自我思考的能力,能自我判断分时对于错难找到一个真正的面。Brittany from UIC News in Hong Kong. Low pressure brings heavy rain and thunderstorm to many places. We are here to present you the weather report of cities from Guangdong province for today. Guangzhou, heavy rain to cloudy, 23 degrees centigrade to 29 degrees centigrade. Zhuhai, heavy rain to shower, 23 degrees centigrade to 28 degrees centigrade. Shenzhen, heavy rain to light rain, 24 degrees centigrade to 28 degrees centigrade. Zhongshan, heavy rain to overcast, 22 degrees centigrade to 28 degrees centigrade. Foshan, heavy rain to clouded, 22 degrees centigrade to 29 degrees centigrade. Macau, heavy rain to shower, 23 degrees centigrade to 28 degrees centigrade. Hong Kong, heavy rain to light rain, 22 degrees centigrade to 27 degrees centigrade. With that, we have come to the end of this edition of UIC News at 5 p.m. Thanks for watching. We will keep you updated with the latest campus and Zhuhai stories. Good night. Good night.